Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, prevention of diabetes by knowing your genes. So the, uh, as it depicted here, uh, the sequencing of the human genome offers the greatest opportunity for epidemiology uh, since the John Snow discovered the Broad Street Pump. And I would like to uh, uh, talk a little bit about what uh, John Snow is, and he is the father of epidemiology. He was in the uh, 1850s, I suppose, and there was an endemic of uh, chorella in London City. And at that time, chorella uh, bacteria was not found yet. But nevertheless, uh, <coughs> uh, Dr. John Snow looked at the patients mapped on the uh, London map and found out that those who were using this pump, which was actually contaminated with sweat, was uh, the uh, cause of the endemic. And he asked the London uh, <coughs> uh, to stop this, uh, using this pump, and the endemic just cheesed. So in a similar sense, <coughs> now we have a human genome map. This is just a map. It has uh, information of 22,000 genes, but the function of each gene is not really, not totally uh, understood. Maybe one third of the gene is the function is known, but not for the other two thirds. But nevertheless, if we have this good map, we could use that for the prevention of human diseases. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So uh, the, after completion of the Human Genome Project, uh, it was known that our genomes are 99.9% .9 identical at the DNA letter level of GATC. It consists of like three billion letters of GATC. So the difference is 0.1% and which sums up to three million letters of GATC. And these differences are most, mostly called, most of these differences are called SNPs, which stands for single nucleotide polymorphisms. And the SNPs are mostly cause the difference of our appearance, a change, difference in our eyes, eye colors, hair colors, and also susceptibility to disease and uh, different reaction towards uh, pharmacological uh, drugs. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> after this, uh, uh, many studies have started to decipher what, which single nucleotide polymorphism SNP is related to which kind of phenotype. <clears throat> and here's an ancient question from the Hippocrates era. I read it, it's far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the man, person has. So you really have to look into the person, not the disease, because the person have the disease, and the disease is something within the person. Of course, I go into the next uh, stage, but this is what Hippocrates said about 2,000, more than 2,500 years ago. And now we have the information of the genome, uh, information of the 22,000 genes, as well as the difference of human uh, with 3 million uh, markers, genetic markers called SNPs. So the first uh, thing that was found is that they are monogenic diseases. These are very rare diseases and versus they are multifactorial diseases. Today I'm going to talk about mostly diabetes and which is a most uh, <coughs> typical multifactorial diseases. But as soon as the human genome was uh, deciphered, it was just be uh, began like this time in maybe mid 90s. The gene identified for monogenic diseases just grew up like this, and it's, you cannot see this, but... See from. 
caring for well-being.